What's up guys, Jay, more than after kill, and I'm back here with some brand new Titanfall news, information, and pre-release coverage. Titanfall is due out in March, and Respawn Entertainment has just released word that if you go to Titanfall's website, you can sign up and become eligible to play in the Titanfall Alpha exclusively on the Xbox One. The only thing you need is a valid origin email. So if you go there and you do sign up, I want to warn you that there is going to be an NDA on this Alpha, which means a non-disclosure agreement. So if you do get accepted, you're not going to be able to make videos, take pictures, or talk or share anything online about what's going on in this alpha. And even though this game is set to come out in two months, and a lot of people are like, why is this an alpha? Why is it not in beta? I'm pretty sure Respawn's calling it an alpha, so those people playing it realize that this is not a finished product, because when people hear beta, they automatically think, oh my god, oh my god, free demo? <laughs> they think... They think it's an actual representation of the finished product. So it looks like Respawn Entertainment is trying to avoid that by calling this an alpha. But since there is going to be a non-disclosure agreement on the game, I want to make this video and talk about how the Titans work and why the AI-controlled bots in this game are necessary. So first off, a lot of people want to know, are the Titans a kill streak in the game? And I talked about it a little bit last episode, but this episode I'm going to confirm that Titans are not a kill streak inside of this game. Even though this game is being made by the former shell of Infinity Ward, they are not going with the uh, kill streak system that they pioneered inside of Call of Duty. They are actually making Titan a timed reward. It's basically like a cooldown inside of an RPG game. Every two minutes inside of the game, you will be able to pull in your Titan and go out there and fuck some shit up on the battlefield. But the more kills, objectives, and points that you gather in that time, the faster your timer cooldown goes in the game and you can get your Titans. So what are the Titans? The Titans are Burgers Robots. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. Burgers Robots. Because everybody loves big ass robots. But there are going to be three Titan classes inside of the game. And the first one you're going to have is going to be the Ogre Titan. He's going to be he's going to be your heavy gunner tank, your defensive Titan, and he's going to have the highest health out of all the Titans, but he's also going to be the slowest. Now the second class of Titan is going to be your middle ground Titan and his name is the Atlas model Titan. And they are pretty much your equally balanced character. They don't have any pluses they don't have any negatives. They have equally balanced health and speed. It's like pretty much your Mario. It's pretty much your Mario inside of the game. <laughs> like, you know how you had like Luigi, he jumped higher, and Mario, he was a little bit like, you know, in between. That's where this Atlas is going to be. So the last class, you guessed it, is going to be a speed class. It is the Strider. The Strider is a very fast, light, and mobile, but also it has the lowest health out of all the titans which pretty much if you take a look at the way they set this up it is a very simple rock paper scissor matchup on the battleground but it also leaves quite a bit of flexibility for competitive play since you might likely be able to outgun another titan that might actually have an advantage on you not only that but how many different titans of each class you're gonna have set up inside of your team which is going to be pretty cool to see if it actually does make it to competitive play. How people do set up the teams. If they're going to go, you know, all speed or maybe a few defenders. Maybe to see, maybe we'll see Titan formations. <laughs> you, you never know. But the Titans are being challenged by the pilots. And the pilots in the game are the human characters. These are the players that you will be playing with. And you will be equipped with the main weapon, a sidearm. And every pilot class will have an anti-Titan weapon slot. So you're going to have three slots for your weapons. And you're always going to have an anti-Titan weapon. So uh, with the jetpack booster, double jumping, all the parkour that you see in the game. It looks like the pilots might actually have an advantage over the Titans. Since they're small, kind of hard to hit. And uh, the Titans look fairly easy to destroy if you're not careful and aware of your surroundings and where is somebody's pointing a motherfucking rocket launcher at you? I've also seen footage of people riding Titans 
ripping off the top of their head and shooting inside there to mess up their electronics, which that is actually really fucking cool. So, with all this going on, a lot of people are wondering why this game is 6v6 instead of just adding in more human pilots to the mix. And the simple reason is, is I believe that the AI bots in the game are put there to stop people from camping. And I know about people like, what? You, you just, you went off the deep end there, Mac. Where where the fuck are you taking this? Listen about it, listen. L let me put it this way. Think about it. If you get your Titan every two minutes, guaranteed, then you're able to just sit back and wait for your guaranteed Titan. And what's the point about engaging in the game without a Titan? You could just go sit in a corner and wait for your Titan. But if you've ever played a game like League of Legends or a MOBA style game, you'll know why there are AI XP bots in a game known as creeps. Because without them, it would be possible just to sit at your home base under your tower and wait for people to come to you and the towers would absolutely destroy them. Nobody would ever come out from under the towers. Nobody would ever win a match because nobody would ever fight. And it looks like the same strategy is being employed here in Titanfall. So since you'd technically be able to just sit in a corner and wait for your Titan, the game has XP bots in the game that are worth very little points, but they're out there fighting and they're not camping and they're feeding the other team. If you're not out there to protect your AI bots, the other team is going to eat them up. They're going to rack up points and they're going to get their Titans faster. So the faster you get points, the faster you get your Titan, the faster you get your Titan, the more fucking Titans you can call in in a single match. So it looks like those people out there that want to just sit back and wait for a goddamn uh, Titan, uh, the AI bots are put there. So, uh, <laughs> so... So you're not going to be able to do that. You're going to have to get out there and protect your motherfucking bots and fight for your goddamn titan. But I wouldn't be worrying about being actually killed by the bots because, uh, you know, they don't look like anything that an average player is going to feel like is actual challenge. It looks like it looks like they're just constantly there to feed, move in the areas and keep the gameplay going, keep the gameplay fast, keep the gameplay intense. And stop people from sitting in the motherfucking corner! So if you think about it, Respawn was actually right. That the bots in the game are actually very vital to keeping this game very fast paced. And you know what? I like that. So, my name is Jay. More than Afterkill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it. Because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. This is just my take on from what I've seen and from what I was looking at inside of this game on why the AI bots are actually there, how the Titans will work, and how you can get into the Titanfall Alpha if you do have an Xbox One and an Origin account. So, like I said, my name is Jay, more than Afterkill. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys later.